1978 Ford Mustang King Cobra windshield wiper motor replacement. So, got me a new windshield wiper motor. Ordered it online. This is the old one. Probably has not ran in a handful of years. Okay, so out with the old and with the new. So the new wiper motor is from Parts Geek. And Parts Geek had these for I believe it was $50. The windshield wiper motor is rebuilt. It does fit a 74 through 78 Mustang II body. And I did not send in my core yet, and I'm glad that I held on to it because there's a handful of parts that you need off your core in order to make this one work. You need the arm. So you need to remove this from your old wiper motor. Okay. You need the washers that are behind that arm. The arm is tightened on with a standard bolt. That bolt does have a righty tighty lefty loosey standard threading. Sometimes when you get to windshield wiper motors and other components, you have a reverse threading depending upon how the motor turns. The other things that you need to remove are the washers for your screws. These come in two parts. This is one piece, this is the inner piece, and this is the outer rubber bushing. That rubber bushing, you squeeze inside your new motor. You see how that fits in. So that piece right there, the bolts that you use for your wiper motor to install it into your car are much smaller than what these holes are. So this bushing here allows you to use the smaller bolt sizes that it comes with. You squeeze the head of the bushing in through the hole. And I may not be able to do this on camera. I may have to Add a little bit of pressure via a punch, which will help me guide it in. Okay. Almost. There we go. Okay. On the other side, if you turn it around, this is what you will see. So I just fit that in from this side. And it pokes out through this side. So on this opposite side, I'm going to take this guide and push it down through the center of the washer. And that is how all three of them enter into the washer, into the um, wiper motor. Okay? So those are the items that you need from your old wiper motor. Now, once I have this thing plugged in and, and plugged up into the car... I'll go ahead and return this motor as a core. One of the reasons being is because I do want other people to have refurbished washer motors. So when your motor goes out, who knows? Maybe you will end up with my, my motor that's been refurbished. Okay. So let's show you where these wiper motors belong. Okay, so on the driver's side, if I look in underneath the dash, there is the light switch. And if I look up even further, there are going to be three bolts. And you can kind of see one, two, three. Those three are the three bolts that you'll be bolting your motor up into. You want the arm that you just attached and put onto your new motor facing you. This arm here is attached to the little arm that sticks out. And on top of that, you will want to put this bracket. 
This is the bracket that fits on the top, that clamps it down, that does not allow your arm to keep falling out of play when you've got your washer motor going. These are your three main bolts that bolt up your windshield wiper motor. And should be as simple as that. You do have an electric plug-in right here under the dash. This will plug into your motor. Okay. Other than that, though, it should be good to go once you get it screwed up and plugged in. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that my electrical issues did not extend to my wiper motor. I did check my wiper motor for power. I do have power going to those wires, so I am keeping my fingers crossed and praying that I will have a windshield wiper um, and windshield wipers on my car once I drop in a new rebuilt motor. So that is it for today. She's getting a new windshield wiper motor. Let's hope it works.